Hello everyone and welcome to the Lay Throm channel. In our videos we cover filming tips, tricks and techniques, equipment and product reviews and many other things that will help you in the world of filmmaking and photography. Check out our videos and don't forget to subscribe. What's up everybody? Welcome to the Latham channel. Matt, as always, talking at you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for coming across the channel and hope to see you guys continue to come back in the future. Today, we're going to be talking about uh, how to prevent Microsoft and Windows 10 from spying on you. And I'm kind of ashamed of myself that I didn't create this video a lot earlier on, especially because, well, I'm dumb. Actually, I'm forgetful when I forgot to push out this video not too long after I pushed out the Windows 10 is it good for video and photo, but we're going to do that now. Hopefully it's a nice short video and you guys get all the information that you need and we'll go from there. Now, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download SpyBot Anti-Beacon. It's right down here. Uh, I will, I'll put the link in the description below that way you can get a hold of it. We're going to right click on that bad boy, hit run as administrator. Now I went through and actually undid all the protection on this computer just to show you uh, the kind of steps that will be taken. Now you have two different tabs, you have protection and optional. And right now you can ignore these, uh, the 2015 telemetry scheduled task and the 2016 telemetry scheduled task. They're both blocked and I can't get those to undo. I don't know what's uh, that. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that's all about, but quite frankly, I don't care because they could stay blocked for all intents and purposes. Now, as you can see, it says no protection applied yet. I'm going to just come down. It, it, actually, let me take a step back. If you want to see all the options, everything that it is changing, all the uh, registry information and tasks and whatnot, you can actually hit the show options. It'll show you where all that location is. But this is this nice, simple, easy way where you don't have to go into registry, you don't have to go into your task and do all this crap manually. All you have to do is come down here and hit immunize. And it will basically block all your telemetry host, your ser uh, telemetry services, telemetry group policy, consumer experience improvement program, both group policy and scheduled task. Both of those are kind of shady as far as I'm concerned. It's none of your business. If I want to complain about your product, I will on the web anyway. Your application impact telemetry, uh, steps recorder group policy, Wi-Fi sense hotspot sharing group policy, apps use advertising ID. Yeah, you heard that right. You didn't think you were getting Windows 10 for free for no reason, right? No, they give this information out to, you know, third parties so they can, you know, make your experience better, quote unquote. Well, bite me. And also the P2P Windows update outside local network. If you don't know what that is, basically whenever they're pushing Windows updates, which is something that I don't like because I don't have the ability to completely disable Windows updates, basically you will get some of your downloaded content from other people who are also uh, housing that Windows update. It's just like, you know, the old school days of rocking out, you know, uh, like Napster and Kazaa and whatnot. Now down here, we're also going to go into our optional tab and we're going to start blocking a lot of this information as well. Like my web search group policy, blocked. Cortana, group policy, bite me. We're blocking you too. I don't use OneDrive, so we're going to block you as well. Same with the group policy for OneDrive. Eh, not going to happen. Remote registry services, blocked. Bing, I'm actually going to leave Bing on here. Uh, well, actually, I'll go ahead and block it for right now. Eh, wrong one. We're going to create a new window here, and we're just going to say Bing.com. And as you can see, since I blocked it in a nice, wonderful little app, Bing is not allowed to access the network. Oh no, whatever do we do? Well, I'm actually going to undo that one because I do use Bing for photos and whatnot, but if you did not want Bing touching your computer in any way, shape, or form, like a nasty little child molester, go ahead and hit apply. Telemetry host. Uh, boom getting rid of you as well and you know what office <sighs> eh. I, I, I honestly I don't even know if I have office on this computer but either way we're going to block you as well now that we've put all this information on uh, now you can see Bing updates Bing's allowed through now that I unblocked it there is one other thing that I'm going to bring up I'm going to close this one and get out of here and I'm gonna open up my host file 
Now this is the information that is actually, uh, well, some of the information that is populated by ye old spybot anti-beacon. And actually, wait a minute, th there is something else I wanted to explain. Ah, oh, my telemetry host is, well, that's interesting. Well, I'm going to block you again anyway. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, if you ever need to find out where your host file is, if you don't know that already, under the log for the SpyBot anti-beacon, uh, you can see it says C Windows System32 slash drivers, etc. Hosts. That's where you find it. Host is not a folder, though. It's just a file. You know what? Actually, the one thing I was going to bring up is actually during the install. Um... Whenever you're installing SpyBot Anti-Beacon, make sure that you have a little checkmark check when it says uh, basically reapply all this inform er, all the protection after a reboot. Make sure that is checked, mainly because I found out that whenever you do updates, and since Windows forces updates, sometimes some of this information uh, reverts to... They basically override what you've done, which is another shady little bit of Microsoft BS, but... Make sure that basically, whenever you're installing it, it has that little checkbox saying that it will reapply all these settings that you put in place every time you restart your computer. Just in case Windows updates restart your computer and they try and sneak some crap in there. Also, you have a bunch of frequently asked questions that you can go through. It explains a lot more than I'm ever going to do. And also make sure you check for updates on a regular basis. Mainly because if Microsoft changes anything, you want to be protected against it, not so much vulnerable. Now, back to the host file. This, oh, <laughs> this awesome little bit of data blocks out every single one of these uh, URLs. Automatically redirects it back to 0.0.0.0, .0 and it will not let you communicate. So we'll just take this one, copy to AC, was it, ac3.msn.com. And as you can tell, no, not six. Paste, and the website is not available. Ads.msn.com. Copy, and paste. That's not available either. So every single one of these nice, wonderful URLs that you see in the host file is not going to be able to talk uh, to the World Wide Web or to Microsoft which is absolutely awesome. Now you can go back through here and if you, there are some things that you wanted to uh, remove, like you know, apps.skype.com for some reason, if there's so, c.msn.com, there's something in here that you're trying to access and it's not letting you, you can go through your host file and just kind of basically delete that line and it will be able to talk again. That is up to you. That is completely your, no, I'm not gonna say that. It is completely at your discretion. Your call, it's your computer. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, feel free to drop them in the comment box below. I will get to them as soon as I can, which is fairly, fairly not too long after uh, you post them up. I try and get on the ball with that. Do not forget to like, share, and uh, Wow, I can't talk. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe this video. Make this bad boy go around. Let other people get informed on how to basically keep Microsoft and Windows 10 from spying on you and collecting your data and selling it off to third parties and all that other crap. And until next time, I will see you guys later.